Time now is 645. Did you know your bathroom can be one of the most dangerous places in your home? It's National Bath Safety Month, the perfect time to make sure yours is as safe as possible, especially if you have little ones or seniors in the home. Here now with some tips on how to do that is Keith Paul. He's the founder of Handy Pro International, a home modification company. Keith, thanks for being with us. Uh, thanks for having us, Jen. It's a pleasure to be here. So let's get started here. What are some of the most common hazards in bathrooms? Maybe things that we don't often think about. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it, it's real simple. It comes down to slip and fall, right? And so our job is to uh, to ensure that there's fall prevention in, a, in, a, in the bathroom. And there's so many things, whether you're getting into the shower, getting down in your toilet, or you're, you're washing your hands and water gets on a and you slip and fall. There's so many, unfortunately, there's so many ways you can slip and fall. And how can people make their baths or their showers safer? Oh, well, the good news is there are so many projects to help people age in place now. And, uh, um, you know, the, the number one safety item in that, that we install all the time is grab bars. And uh, there, you can put them in the back of the shower. You can put them in the front of the shower. And what we usually ask our, our clients to do is step into the shower and right where they put their hand, that's where you want to put your first grab bar, right? And so, um, and, and the good thing is there's so many grab bars now that you can put up that are not, look like you're in a hospital. They can look like a, a, a fancy handrail. And they even have grab bars you can put next to your toilet that are toilet paper holders, you know? So there's so many ways when you're getting up off the toilet, you're getting into your shower that you can make sure that uh, you're being safe. And Other we're, thing, we're seeing uh, some photos there. We can see the variety of the different options that people have. And when you're talking about things like grab bars, walk-in showers, or ADA toilets and vanities, when you're talking about the installation, what tips do you have that people should maybe keep in mind and how much can those projects cost? Sure. Um, well, to keep in mind is make sure you get the right contractor, right? There's a lot of different products out there. Some of them are cheap and um, you know, they won't last very long. Some of them are high quality. So get that right contractor, make sure you do the research on them, make sure they're licensed and then they're insured and they have a history and the knowledge of working in the aging in place uh, um, specialty because, um, you know, they can run, the grab bars can be a couple hundred dollars to install, whereas you, know, you get a real nice hot tub, you know, a walk-in tub and it can be, you know, 10 grand and above. But the good thing is if you have somebody that is, you know, can't really afford to get it. There's programs throughout the state. So you can check with your local area on aging. You can choke, check with your home-based community services program. Uh, if you're a veteran, there's programs out there. And um, it, we're working with a coalition right now that has a bill in Congress going to give tax incentives for home modification projects. So keep your fingers crossed. Those are important things to kind of keep on that checklist for people. So can you talk to us about some of the modifications that Handy Pro offers for seniors specifically? Sure, sure. Well, Jen, you said that the number one place that we spend most of our time is in the bathroom because it is the most dangerous place. But there's also, you know, um, you know, getting up and down stairs, right? That can be dangerous. So, you know, we install stair lifts, uh, wheelchair ramps. We do a lot of wheelchair ramps and you can do wood ones and you can do uh, uh, metal ones, temporary ones, um, widening doors, you know, if you have a wheelchair and you're trying to get in. And if you have arthritis, there's simple ways. You know, we can um, put on uh, handles on faucets, you know, or we can put handles on doors, make it easier to get in and out of uh, um, the house as well. So many things that can be done to, uh, and there's so many different products and services to keep you, you or your mom and dad or, you know, safe at home right now. So great thing. A lot of options and a good month to be thinking about making those important changes in our home. Uh, Keith, before we let you go, where can people go for more information? Um, they can go right to our website. It's at handypro.com. Um, we have a really easy, convenient way. You can book a handyman in a minute that, uh, you know, and you can even do it uh, and, and book for, like, we have 10 locations across the country in Texas. So if you have uh, uh, some mom and dad lives in Texas, you can go on there and book somebody to install a grab bar or to widen a door or put a wheelchair ramp and make it real convenient, easy to do it that way. Keith Paul, founder of Handy Pro International. Thanks for all those tips and for joining us this morning. Thank you, Jen. Pleasure to be here. Take care.